young undefeated middleweight Irish John Duddy is looking to make a name for himself in the talent-laden middleweight division. When we last saw the young puncher, Duddy was running roughshod through Shelby Pudwell. He dropped the bet three times in round one using his patented array of hard punches. Duddy wants to continue his winning ways, and tonight he meets his biggest test to date, former junior middleweight champ and big-time puncher, Yuri Boy Compass. Everything's a work in process, you know, and uh, I think I've been working on a lot of the lot of the lot of parts of my game that need improving on and moving my head as one of them. And uh, I suppose using my feet a lot more too. As an amateur, I was a boxer, and I seem to have forgot about what I, what I was as an amateur since I've turned professional. But like in every fight that I have, I have been showing that I've been learning a bit, and I've been learning as the standards have been rising against my opponents. But we've been working on my game, we've been working on everything from the jab to the, the right hand, bobbing and weaving, left hooks, body play, you, everything, we work on everything. Everything needs improved for every fight, and especially when you're getting under the ring with a living legend like Gary Boy Campus. I want to make sure that I'm in the best possible condition I can be, because I know if I've got weaknesses, he will try to exploit them, and I just want to make sure that I'm prepared enough to make sure that he can't. Teddy has a huge following for every fight, and he usually does his training at the legendary Gleason's Gym in Brooklyn. But for this fight, the Teddy Camp tried something different by training at Fernwood in Pennsylvania. The change of scenery seemed to work well for the 27-year-old Duddy. It's been fantastic, you know, uh, Harry Kate, my coach, he's been uh, taking great pleasure in running us up the hills around these mountains, and uh, it's been uh, very, very good, very good. I can feel uh, I suppose the standards of my condition and rising as the, the days pass, you know, and we've been training in the gym here, we've been doing four minute rounds for sparring sessions and uh, bag work and pad work, you know what I mean? I, I think I'd be ready for a 15 rounder, never made a 12 rounder. It's nice to get away from it all, especially when, you've, when I've got a fight as big as this coming up, you know? Like I sit up at the house and I, I read my books and I play my guitar and, I, and we watch DVDs and, and then uh, we go running some more, <laughs> you know. Like it's a perfect, it's a perfect situation for getting up here and getting away and just training, eating, and sleeping. And I, I'm enjoying every minute of it. Like the scenery up here is beautiful. The air is a lot cleaner. Uh, the flies, the skunks, the smells is unbelievable. Uh, we see deers in the morning and groundhogs and everything. Like I, it's it's nice to get away from the old hustle and bustle of New York and the traffic. No, you can come up here and mentally you can sort of lose yourself and relax and just and just take it as it comes. And uh, I think the preparation and, and everything that I've had leading up to this fight has been fantastic. And uh, everybody that's come on board, I think it's the best training camp I've ever been in. And uh, we've been working hard, we've been pushing each other to the limits. It's, a, it's, a, it's amazing how much we've, we've been able to beat, beat each other up and push each other. And we all know at the end of the day that it's just for that one reason and that's one of them. All right, Irish John Duddy, 17-0 with 14 knockouts, ready to take on the veteran, 35-year-old Yori Boy Campus. This is fight night at Madison Square Garden, and we are ready for our main event. Here comes Yori Boy Campus, weighed in at 159 and a half pounds, and he is a boxing warrior has fought over 90 times and he's fought the best that the sport has had to offer felix trinidad oscar de la hoya vargas his best day coming in 1997 when he ko'd raul marquez in the eighth round to become the 154 pound world champion he defended his title three times held the belt for exactly one year. Yori Boy Kempas. And here comes John Duddy, a young man, 27 years old, from Derry, Ireland. He's been fighting as a pro for three years, and he told me yesterday, I came to New York to find out how good I am. I'm fortunate. The people here in New York have taken to me, the Irish, the Irish Americans, and everybody else who enjoys a man that works hard. They've gotten behind me. And tonight, 
he will get an opportunity to see how good he is because he's taking on a fighter in Yori Boy Campus that is a former world champion and he's a man that's been in the ring with the best in the sport of boxing. Absolutely right. But he's going to find out real soon. So here we go. John Duddy, 17 and 0, against Luis Yori Boy Campus. Here is the official introduction. Boxing fans, before we introduce our fighters for the main event of the evening, in the ring at this time, I'd like to introduce a man who is a six-time former world champion. He is the former two-time lightweight, the welterweight, the middleweight, and the junior middleweight champion of the world, known the world over as Los Manos de Piedra, Roberto. Ladies and gentlemen, and now, Irish Ropes Boxing and DRL Promotions present, live from Madison Square Garden in New York City, our main event of the evening. Our main event is sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, Ron Scott Stevens, Chairman. All right, doctors at ringside for the main event, Dr. Rick Weinstein, Dr. Gerard Verlada, and Dr. David Schwab. And our timekeeper at the bell for our main event, Kathy Paolillo. <laughs> Boxing fans, our main event is scheduled for 12 rounds of action for the vacant IBA World Middleweight Championship. Our judges overseeing this bout, Billy Costello, Tom Schreck, and Tommy Kazmarek. And our referee for our main event will be Hubert Earl. <laughs> Introducing first in the blue corner, he comes to us tonight all the way from Navajo, Sonora, Mexico. He wears red trunks with blue trim. Excellent professional record, 90 victories, seven defeats, 74 knockouts. Please welcome Luis Ramon Yuri Boy Campas. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes to us tonight from Derry. He weighed in at 160 pounds, wears Kelly green trunks with gold trim, has a perfect professional record of 17 victories, no defeats, 15 knockouts. Please welcome Ireland's John Okay, John, I'm going to all the rules in the dressing room. Have a good, clean fight. Touch them up and obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. So here we go. Wow. The young versus the old. Well rounds for the IBA John Duddy. Championship. Taking a big risk against the veteran, Yuri Boy Campus. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBA middleweight title. Oof. Round one. Looks like Duddy's not even changing his style. He's going right after yep. him. Yep. And Tommy Gallagher, you've seen a lot of great wars in boxing. You've seen a lot of great wars in this building. What should we pay attention to early for both fighters? Who gets off first and who has to make the adjustment? 
I mean, this is some fight, man. The electricity in this room is beyond belief. Double left hook behind with that. Tunny connects. Double left hook again by Duddy. The last time Compass was stopped was in 03 against De La Hoya. There's a couple of losses on his record since then, but he hasn't been stopped. Compass comes in with a 98, 90 and 8 record, 74 KOs. He's been stopped six times in his career. Don't make him. Don't get him mad. <laughs> right hand connected for Duddy. Another thing to worry about is the pace. This is a 12 round that Duddy's gone 10 once. Right. It's been longer. Absolutely right. And, it's, and you can just see how relaxed camp is. So. Right hand getting in again for John Duddy. Doubling up with the jab, Duddy from Derry, Ireland. Yeah, has recorded knockouts in his last two fights. He's been inactive for 109 days. Oh, beautiful oh, left hook right. by Campus. As he leaned in, he catches him again with the left hand. Campus was just seeing what he had to offer. A nice yeah. one, too. Another left hook by Campus. Campus says that he is not finished. He still burns deep inside for being cheated out of millions of dollars, according to Campus. He was cheated by De La Hoya, by Trinidad, and by Vargas. They received multi-million dollar paydays. Campus receiving no more than $70,000, his biggest purse. Oh, what a shot on top of the head. Another left hand by Campus. Right hand oh, gets man. in for Campus. Referee got hit. The end of round one. Fireworks already. In the first round, Campus throwing 31 power shots, Fox. landing 18. Duddy throwing 49 power shots, landing 23. Round two, scheduled for 12. And the way they're going early, this may not go 12 rounds. No, but I hope it does, man, because we're getting we're getting a treat here. Compass took the first third of that round, the first round to feel out Duddy's punches. Coming back with multiple left hooks. I'm surprised yeah. Duddy hasn't gone to Campus's body like there. Yeah, but see, you can't get away with, with, with reaching with a, with a wide body yeah. shot with Campus. See how he hit him with that short left hook? Mm -hmm. That's what I was talking about before. This, this guy's a world-class, world champion, old-star fighter, man. He lost his last fight, a split decision to Matt Vanda Everybody in knows. Minneapolis. Controversial decision. <laughs> Straight right hand landed for Duddy. Nice one. Compass keeps coming forward. Yep. Now Duddy giving ground a bit. And Duddy's left eye is cut. Duddy's backing up, trying to hit simply. He's taking shots to the head. What a night. What a night. Left eye is looking very bad for Duddy. Oh, up jab gets in for Campus. Now Duddy rolling. Continuing to throw multiple combinations. Duddy's landing shots, but they're not stopping Campus in his tracks. He keeps coming forward. Yeah, he's looking to counter. See with that left hook, he waits till he gets off. And he comes throws on short little shot. a difference in experience. Yep. Right hand 
gets it for campus, followed by a left hook. And that eye looks very ugly for John Dunny. 20 out. in this fight. Punch. Yeah. Campus cutting Punch Duddy over both eyes. Ball. Take a look at the action from the round. Right hand buckled his legs like they didn't go down. Campus tried to come in, but you see Yuri Boy Campus, big time puncher. Right hand crushed right on the jaw. Duddy can take a shot, but his eyes that's right. don't seem to be holding up right now. You got to put it together. No, that's this why Doc right made two eyes. Okay, seconds, play the corner. Comes out jabbing. Overhand right connects. Campus looks like he's getting stronger as this fight goes on. And he's 35 years old. Fighting a 27-year-old man. Cody, I think, knows the sense of urgency. He's putting power behind his shot now. Right. But he's leaving his left hand a little low. I guess he answered the question about being shot. <laughs> ain't shot. Joe Diaz told me campus's trainer that campus doesn't smoke doesn't drink doesn't go out on his wife all he does is eat drink and sleep boxing and he's looking for one fight that can catapult him back into championship contention he feels john duddy presents that opportunity for him wow a mess to work right here duddy's landing solid shots but Compass is just taking him and coming forward. Working upstairs. Okay, wait. Watch Compass go to work upstairs in the head. Right hand landing. One, two landing for Dunny as he pivots and throws a hook to the body. Okay. Campus is right on him. Nothing hurting Campus right now. Let him fight, ref. This is not Duddy's fight to be trying to slug on the inside yeah, with Compass. Exactly. You gotta try to do something from the outside with the power shot. Should make the old man use his legs by following around the ring. Watch the head, watch the head! Those legs look real good to me. Yes, they do though. But you want to see what, what kind of tires on the what kind of treads on the tire. Duddy's gotta go to the body if he wants to tire the older Compass. Compass has assaulted Duddy in the body since the very beginning. Compass had slow hands. Yeah, that was in his <laughs> last fight. <laughs> Compass has been the aggressor. Duddy fighting off his back foot, having no problems landing punches. against Yori Boy Campus in red. And let's take a look at the power punches. Campus with the lead. John Duddy has been cut over his left eye. 
George Mitchell, his cut man, has been taking care of him. Gentlemen, how do you have this fight score? I got so it. Far. 29. Uh, 29, 28 for Compass. I gave him the last two rounds to Compass. In the first round, I gave it to Duddy very closely. Yeah, I'm with Tony on that. I think exactly the same score. Watch this guy at work, man. You're watching history here. Harry Kite, Duddy's trainer, telling him to move his head and box, as opposed to standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Compass. And Compass really putting his punches together. Duddy trying to counterpunch now. And you can hear Kite yelling, box. Kite telling Duddy he was too tight. Relax. There's a nice right hand, followed by a left hook by Compass. That he has to increase his distance and work the jab from the outside and stay there. Compass has to keep coming forward, work the body, go up to the head. Big right hand by Compass. He just keeps coming forward like a tank. Yeah. Came in at 159 and a half pounds. Duddy weighed 160. Body work by Duddy now. Come on. Work out, work. Let's go. Watch the head. Watch the head. Let me see what God he's, Duddy's made of. He's doing it. He, he's hanging in there, but he, he has to throw one break, shot break. that's going to turn the fight. I don't know if he's got it in him. Duddy though, coming back, answering. Using his shoulders now to keep Campus off of him. Duddy trying to get a little distance so he can keep the left hand. There you go, right hand two, followed by a jab. Now he's boxing. Now John Duddy is boxing. He's going to make the old man use his legs. Lead right uppercut, followed by a short left jab. Duddy's got to shoot the jab, make him walk into it. We've come to the end of the round. Great fight here in New York. A better round for John Duddy. He started boxing more. Well, he had to make an adjustment. He's getting beat to death. I mean, this is some fight. This is like it used to be. Let's go, seconds. Play the corner. This is going to be fight of the year. Look at this guy. He could be 500 years old. He don't care. Well, here comes Duddy, boom, and campus round five scheduled for 12. The IBA middleweight title. As you take a look at the punches, round four. Break. Duddy Campus. throwing 74, landing 27. Campus throwing 79, landing 35. Duddy boxing more toward the end of the fourth round. Trying to keep Campus off of him. He's used his shoulders, and he's also trying to use his legs because Campus has been like a bull coming straight ahead. Can't stay in that corner. Not at all. Oh, not at all. Got to spin out of there. Or tie him up. Yep. Lead right hand landing, followed by left hook. That's the best time to run after Duddy. But Duddy, if you pay attention, he's finishing off low with his left hand. That's why he's been getting countered. Keeps throwing punches. Yep. Another left hook and a left hook downstairs. Duddy gives up a left hook downstairs to Compass. Oh, great combination. And he threw them within about eight inches of each. Duddy's in trouble. Left hook, right hand. He's bleeding from both eyes. But he showed me something. Got off the road. Got a great chin, man. Both guys taking shots now. Right hand.
So you can't get away with mistakes with this guy. No. Nope. Daddy's punches seem to be slowing down. Yeah. Oh, look at that shot. Right under the heart on the chin. Double left hook. The Air Boy Campus looks like he. Hey, Tommy, Daddy's got a heart. Oh, my God. <laughs> Big as the tall arena. Now Campus going back to work. What a fight. My God, this is great. You said it, oh, my Tommy man. Gallagher, like they used to do in the old days. Forever. You talking about referees leaving them alone? They're fighting. Duddy's trying to throw that right hand over the top. Campus looking to dig more shots to the body and go upstairs. He's trying to get him to throw that right up so he can hit him with the left hook. Second one, you got a boxing, John. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Move your head, look at me, John. John, I'm looking at yeah. you, John. Yes. Move to your right. When you friend the punch, grab him. Stop leaning in with your head. Yeah. Move your head from side to side. Yeah. Give me some water. Campus working good in the round. Showed his experience right there. Works the body up to the head, just right. chopping away. Duddy's smart to get out of there, but Compass just keeps lasering in his punches right up the middle, left and right. He doesn't waste a punch, Tony. This kid doesn't waste a punch. I don't know where we heard all the stories about this guy being shot. Yori Boy Compass looks fresh. Different story for young John Duddy. Round six, scheduled for 12. As you take a look at the power punches, Pompas, 235 throws, 124 landed, over 50%. Oh, right hand connects on the jaw of Duddy. Right. Duddy wobbled by Pompas in the second round. Jab connecting for Duddy, followed by a short right hand. Duddy doing a nice job fighting inside, but his trainer Harry Kite wants him to box. He's right, he should be boxing. Right now they're trading body shots. The compass would have the edge there. Yuri Boy Compass, a world champion in 1997. When he beat Raul Marquez, stopping him in eight rounds. He's fought the best in boxing. Trinidad, De La Hoya, Vargas. And he is really trying to put it on this kid now. That left hook to the body has been there. Right behind the elbow. Now the up jab, followed by the short left hook that barely missed. Maybe he should try a left hook to compass. Big one in there, see what happens. Oh, what a right hand. What he's got to do is he's got, when he's not doing nothing, he better tie this guy up and yeah. stay out of range. He's just laying right in front of him. What a fight. Less than a minute to go in the sixth round. So he should try to double up on the left hook. Something's got to keep him off him. Bring it up, bring it up. Duddy trying to box, he gets on his he toes, plays. and every time he boxes, right, right, time, yeah, he look, he's more right, successful. You're absolutely right. You're right. absolutely right. Whenever he stands there, he's target practice for Compass. Right, he should be staying outside, making Compass come after him, even at 34. Oh. Left hook okay. getting in again for Compass. Right hand lands for Duddy. Duddy rolling that right hand now. He better be careful. Mm. End of round six. 
Round seven, scheduled for 12. John Duddy in green. Yuri Boy Compass in red. This is for the IBA middleweight title. Campus in the sixth round What's the with a 26-11 edge and power connects. There's a big right hand as he digs with the left hook. And as you mentioned, Tony, Duddy is really keeping that right hand low now. Got to keep it up. That was a counter with a left hook. And you have to credit George Mitchell, the cut man for Duddy. He's a protege of the late Al Gavin. He's done a fantastic job Stand back. getting Duddy off the stool. Sure has. No question about that. But, wow, look at Yuri Boy Campus. A technician. He's taking away Duddy's Gunny, game, which is stay outside, work the jab from outside. Yuri Boy's using pressure to smother Duddy's punch. Now Duddy shortening up his jab, trying to step off the don't line. Push, don't push. Ooh, beautiful up jab as he pivots and gets away. Now he's making Campus look for him. Right hand connects for Duddy. But Campus is right there, walks right through it. I was in Vegas with Trinidad hit Campus a hellacious shot and dropped him. I don't know if Duddy has that kind of power. He may have that kind of power, but he don't have it now. Yeah. Right hand followed by the left hook. I don't know. Duddy may be finding his rhythm. Watch the level. Watch the portion. Oh, the there you go. Duddy slipping. Doubling up the hook. 36 seconds remaining in the seventh round. Scheduled for 12. Good round for Duddy. He looks good, looking more like a boxer. Now he goes into the crowd. Then he still has a real good jab, good stiff jab. Kappa still pursuing. Dunny with the right hand. Oh, what a shot. Seven seconds left. We'll stay right here between rounds. <laughs> Harry Kite is the trainer for John Dunn. John, you're going to get yourself a win. You got to keep boxing. You got to keep boxing. When you grab John, when you're not punching, you got to tie him up. Tie him up or walk him. Don't, don't stop punching. Stay in front of him. You got to keep boxing. Give me some balls. You got to have something. some of the action. Then he said, keep it distance, work on the outside, popping that stiff left jab of his, and then getting away from Compass, we can't counter. Second round, right on top of him. That's when it's to his advantage. Well, at least he's picking up his jabs a little bit, Duddy, and that's what he needs to do. Jab, move, and don't stay in the hole with him. Land at 11 of 30. Jab, that's a really an increase. According to CompuBox, as you take a look at the punches in round seven, Duddy picking up the pace, throwing 67, landing 33. Boxing, working for John Duddy. Let them fight, ref. Beautiful, stiff jab by Duddy. Splitting the gloves of campus. Now he goes to the body. Tony, Duddy is figuring out the rhythm, when to stay inside and fight, and when to box. He knows he has to stay outside. He can't, he's not winning the fight. He's not really slowing him down from the inside. On the outside, he's working the jab, the right hand. That's the best thing. I, I think Yuri Boy is slowing down just a little bit, Tony. Duddy doubling up the left hook. Oh, a nice left up jab. Now Yuri Boy getting 
to that. This is a battle of attrition right now. Yeah, right. You're right about that. All that time you spend in the gym. All that time you spend on the road running. This is what it's for.
was. 50 seconds left in the ninth round for the IBA middleweight title at the world's most famous arena. John Duddy. What a fight. Going to the body. Compass slowing down dramatically. Watch your head. Right hand lands for Duddy. Double left hook lands for Compass. <laughs> left hook landing for Duddy. Oh, what a fight. Ten seconds to go. from round nine. You see the hand speed of Duddy late in the fight, still has him, but he's got good power upstairs. Works the head, giving up the body right now. Duddy's inside, there's the hand speed, there's the right hand. Power shots all landing. Compass loads in his leg. Compass maybe came into the rounds of 30 year olds, 35 now. Might right, be 40, go, second, <laughs> Tries to fight back, but a good round again for John Duddy. What a fight. through 57 punches in the ninth round. Lowest output since the first oh, one. As you take a look at the numbers in the ninth round. Oh, round 10, scheduled for 12. Irishman John Duddy in green. Yuri Boy Compass from Mexico in red. What a good comeback. John Duddy deciding to box in the second half of this fight. And it's paid huge dividends. Compass has had to find him, and it's been difficult. And you see Duddy stay on the outside. Walked into a shot there, but he's got to go back. Work it there. That's where he's got to be, right out there. And get the distance and hit him with those shots. There's a good jab by Duddy. Compass still game, though. Compass looking to load up one Ooh, shot. Great left hook. Duddy was wobbled in the second round. His knees buckled on a shot by Compass, but he didn't go down. Now Duddy and Compass slugging once again in the middle of the ring. Why is Duddy going back to fighting on the inside? Yeah, so he's so successful outside. Yeah. So he turned the fight around. He's not giving him any room now, Campbell. He knows. Once he's got that little distance, see, like that, he, he can hit him with shots. Compass is right there. In. Shoot the jam right behind him, right hand right behind it. The only dangerous thing is that Duddy's hands have really started to dry. Both hands now. He has to be careful. There's a left hook right oh. hand, though, by Duddy. Great left hooks, both of them. John Duddy has proven that he has a chin. Well, John Duddy proved that he's the real deal, win or lose. Let me tell you that. When he stays on the outside, it's going to be hard for people to beat him. I agree. Tenth round, scheduled for 12 for the IBA middleweight title. Duddy closing in. Campus inviting him in. And the right hand by Duddy. Duddy stealing the last three rounds at the oh, end. And he gets headbutted in the eye. Yeah. The end of the tenth. Boy Compass has three children. 
He fought Vargas. Vargas got two million. He got twenty-two thousand. He fought De La Hoya. De La Hoya got eight million. He got seventy thousand. He fought Trinidad. Trinidad got four million. Compass got twenty thousand. He knows that if he beats John Duddy on this night, he's got a chance to make some money. That's why he's fought as courageously as he's fighting right now. Duddy, 102, 25 edge, and jab connects in this fight. Now Duddy slows him down. Compass, slow him down. Right. Duddy's corner told him to smoke him in his last two rounds. I agree with that. He's got to. But he's got to do it for, with, with range, with distance. Right hand goal. Will the age catch up don't roll, don't with Yori Boy Compass? 35. He came in in excellent shape. 159 and a half pounds. Dunny Gun. He's backing him up. He's not firing back. As long as he's moving his hands, he's effective. He is. Compass's legs. Are they giving out? They say your legs are the first to go when you get older. Compass not moving as well now. He's bouncing up and down, but he's not doing nothing with it. Duddy has to take advantage. Now Compass slowing down. Oh, no. For Duddy. Yuri Boy Compass is right for the picking. He needs a lucky shot now. John Duddy is in position to finish him. Compass trying to use all of his veteran experience to hide his fatigue. 38 seconds to go on the 11th. If he can get to the 12th, he can muster up three laps. He's still in the last three rounds in the last 30 seconds of each round. Good solid shot by Dan. Yuri Boy is uh, think he's out of gas. Yeah, he's out. just trying to get through this now. Unless he's playing a little possum for the last round.
My God. years old. I got Duddy 115-113. I didn't learn to count that high. <laughs> My God. I don't know how you could keep scoring this oh, fight. Tough. Out of gas, being beaten, bang, right hand, body shots, big power shots. Duddy gets hurt in that last round. These two fighters threw 185 punches in the 12th and final round. The connects, they were 75 of 185, a combined 75 of 185. Compass threw 103 punches. Duddy, 82. It's the sweet science, John Duddy. <laughs> this is no sweet science. Both fighters showed tremendous heart. Compa still has some talent left. Yeah, anybody who says he's shot better get a uh, job. As we take a look at the total punches. I don't hit. Duddy throwing 856, landing 380, 44%. Compass, 786, landing 316, 40% according to CompuBox. And, and, and Compass lo looks uh, in better shape than Buddy. <laughs> Yori Boy Compass proving that at 35, he still has something left. John Duddy proving that at 27, He's still learning, but he's got something that you can't measure, and that's hard. Now for the decision. Let's go to ring announcer Joe Antonacci. Boxing fans, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Tom Kazmarek scores the bout 117 to 111. Judge Tom Schreck scores the bout, 116 to 112. And Judge Billy Costello sees it, 115 to 113. All for your winner, by unanimous decision, and the new IBA middleweight champion, Ireland! decision over Yuri Boy Compass, 117-111, 116-112, 115-113. John Duddy becomes the new IBA middleweight champion. And he earned it the hard way. Oh man, what a fight. What a great, great fight. John Duddy improves to 18-0 as he defeats Yuri Boy Compass. The former world champion, he now dons a new IBA middleweight belt. Coming up, we'll talk to the 27-year-old. The crowd filing out at the world's most famous arena, but they got their money's worth this evening. Yori Boy Compass and John Duddy went toe-to-toe -to -toe for 12 grueling rounds. Compass starting out quickly, controlling the fight early. But Duddy eventually decided to box, and he walks away with his first title, the IBA middleweight title, and he's standing by with our Tony Page. Thanks very much, Gus. I'm here with the champion. Let me ask you right off the bat, you said you wanted to see what you could do in this country. What did you prove to yourself tonight? Well, I think that I got on with a uh, living legend like uh, Yuri Boy Campus, and uh, I, I've had an experience, like no other experience I've had in my life. Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I know I have a lot to learn, and I think I learned a tremendous amount tonight, but I think I did enough to win the fight and prove that I know I have a lot to learn, but I'm capable of learning it, and we're going to keep uh, moving upwards and onwards and keeping the New York flag flying.
You got staggered early in the fight. Yes. Got over both eyes, as we see. Yeah. How come you did not lose focus? Well, you know, uh, this is this comes with a sport. You know, you get knocked back, you have to get up again. You got to keep punching forward. You got to keep moving. You got to keep throwing punches. And uh, Yuri boy brought out uh, something to me that I didn't think I have. You know, I was scraping the barrel there. I was down deep, and no, I knew that this is a guy I got to keep can't got to keep moving. Even though he's hit me, I got to keep punching back. I got to keep hitting him. And uh, he took some of my best shots. And like a true champion, he came back. And uh, I think that, uh, that I've done just, justice to myself to be able to stand 22 with Alex Ayori by campus. When you stayed on the outside and used your jab, you seemed like you were much more effective than trying to go inside. Yes, 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 I, I did. And I, as my coach will tell me, I got a bit complacent. I was thinking because I'm a slightly bigger than uh, Yuri boy, I could have tried to stand 22 with him. But like, the man's left hook's beautiful, you know, he hit me. He hit me to the body, he hit me to the head, he hit me low. He hit me with everything, but I, I took it, I kept coming. And uh, it might have been the prettiest performance, but it was damn, uh, I reckon, my best performance in the ring so far. Your corner was so calm, Harry Kite, George Mitchell did a great job on the cut work. So all that blood early in the fight, didn't see much after that, so that must have put you at ease. Well, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, it comes with a sport. This is my first time really been cut in the professional ranks. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, oh, uh, as much as they say it don't look nice, you got to take it, you got to soak it up, and you got to come back. And I, I think I was able to stand through the toughest test in my career tonight and pull out a victory. Well, you got you got the hardware to show it. Let's go down to the spring side. Hey, Gus Johnson. Thanks very much. All right, Tony, congratulations to John Duddy. Improved to 18-0 as he defeats Yori Boy Compass.